Central Bank, can you give the real the change guys to actually have the right to officially trade Tether? Bitcoin makes sense, you know what I mean? I mean, some of them are already doing it, but I don't know, you think that they're not doing it, then, then you send a circle out to them, you're stopping it. I've seen it. They're actually stopping them from transacting in cryptocurrency. They went to go and build the logo of Bitcoin on the walls of the Central Bank of Europe. Eh? Giant Bitcoin logo beamed and projected on the walls of the Central Bank of Europe. Like tell you about to go put Bitcoin for the, <laughs> for the wall of Central Bank of Nigeria. <laughs> We are back, we are back, we are back again, we are back, we are back again. You're welcome to the Digital Assets Show on your favorite television, Pop Central Channel 189 on DSTV, the only exclusive crypto show on DSTV. All over Africa, them, they watch us, 17 West African countries. And I am your host, Olu, or Olu, if you be my Yankee friend. Olu, I'll judge you real fair, Koshimani. And you know I'm a Bitcoiner. But if you have that wonderful idea, if it makes sense to me, if you are not ish coining, if you are not scamming, I welcome you on national television and I'll show you to the world. Thank you very much. Did you miss me, guys? I miss you now. Well, well. I miss you now. I miss you now. I miss you now. I've got hot cake juice for you guys. Content that you missed last week, last two weeks. I've not been around. I've been traveling here and there. You know, uh, it has been a roller coaster. The policies have not been stable. Uh, in December, remember, he, he was 30 million naira before Dr. Timi Agama was appointed. I brought him live on the show, y'all remember. And he told us, you know, the 500 million naira that it was then is supposed to be the share capital. They don't want to, a, a, a hungry person or a hungry person to run business in the crypto space. You know, so as the head of the Nigerian capital mar market at the time, he spelt it out, you know, vividly. But in a short period of about two months after, the price shot up. It went to about 150 million. Soon after, Dr. Timi Agama became the SEC DG, appointed by President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu. And now, uh, in a short period of time again, they've updated in about maybe about four months after that, from 30 million to 150, and now it is 2 million naira. How we got back here, I don't know. I don't have the full story. I still believe the 150 million naira registration fee still stays. The 1 billion share capital, uh, which you're supposed to show in cash, working capital, I'm supposed to show in cash or in assets, still stays too. Uh, but there is ARIP now, accelerated, regulate, accelerated regulatory incubation program. Accelerated Regulatory Incubation Program, ARIP. Um, it's a two million naira registration fee, non-refundable if you really, really want to play the big boys game in the crypto space, with about 25% of the share cap uh, fidelity bond for the share capital. So if it's one billion, you got to show proof that you have 25% of that. Um, it's a long, long, long walk from here, but I think we are, we are hitting somewhere. So on that note, I welcome you again. I have hot cake juice, but first of all, like we usually do. What's Bitcoin price today? Quickly, 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 quickly. I mean, I go check, quickly step check. Let me announce to you guys. What's BTC price right now? Bitcoin price today on the coin market cap is $58,648. Just moved to $58,649. Well done, well done. It's not bad. It's not bad. We're still in the bull market today in the last one hour. We've dropped about 0.36%. It's okay. We're not really falling like a domino. But um, in fair terms, it's not consistent. You already know. But I see volatility in Bitcoin as vitality. It holds your fiat strong, and then you see the fiat start to fluctuate. But in Bitcoin terms, one sat is one sat. Uh, in the last 24 hours, it's been about 0.92%. Yes, and um, in the last seven days, Bitcoin has been up 1.46%. What is Bitcoin market cap today? The market cap of Bitcoin still stands strong at 1.156 trillion US dollars. Bigger than the first seven biggest companies in the world. Yeah. What are you investing in? Ask yourself. Quick one. What are the 
biggest companies in the world. Should I quickly just list them out for you guys so you see? Oh, I mean, we should just kick into the show, right? All right, let's kick into the show proper. Um, now that we know what Bitcoin price is, we have on top of the food chain, um, the difference between gold and Bitcoin in terms of investment in the last 12 years. I don't know if the video is up there live on the screen. Do we have it, my producer? Do we have it? I'm not sure if we have the video. Uh, but then um, if you had invested about $1,000 in Bitcoin in the last, uh, say, 12 years, 12 years ago, $1,000 in Nigeria was 1000 500 thereabout because in the black market it would have been about 150 naira or 163 naira. So let's cap it at 1,600. Uh, 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 one, one, 153 naira. 163 naira. So it would have been 160,000, 150,000 naira. Don't, 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 get, don't get me wrong. So $1,000 in naira in the last 12 years, that's like in 20, 20, uh, 2012, right? This is 2024, yeah. 2012 would be in the black market. I'm not even, even talking about CBM rates. Would be about 160,000 Naira. If you had invested that in gold, today you will be having about 1,500, 1,600 uh, uh, dollar. So it will be about 1.6 million Naira. So if you had invested 160,000 Naira in Bitcoin in 2012, by today in 2024, your money will be about, maybe about $10 million. Yes. 160,000 Naira would have given you $10 million. How about that? Give and take, 8 to $10 million. Let's, let's say volatility maybe between 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, capital 65. But if you had invested that in gold, you would have had just 1.6 million naira because it would have been like 1,000 something dollar. Still. <laughs> There's problem. Bitcoin is the best performing asset in the world. Not the S&P 500. Not real estate. Not gold, not silver, obviously. There is nothing on the Nigerian stock exchange on the NGX that performs better than Bitcoin. Not even Dangote Refinery. We never get oil to sell. Chai! What are you buying? Okay, uh, my producer, are you ready? We have a lot of content to share. Top 10 cryptocurrency in the world today. Do we have it? You can put that up on the screen. Top 10 cryptocurrency in the world today. Um, Bitcoin on top of the food chain, obviously. Uh, I think you should have that. Ethereum. I don't like to mention each coins, but no, nothing I could do. Ethereum is number two. Uh, Teda, of course, number three. Teda has actually won the market in Nigeria, let's be frank, because we are very minimal proper, undiluted, unfiltered Bitcoin education. So there's a proliferation of bad cryptocurrencies all over Nigeria. But still, all over the world, the apex cryptocurrency that protects you, that cannot be debased, that is borderless, uh, that is portable. Uh, I don't even see Bitcoin losing for value, you know, but in fiat terms, maybe, you know, that is a legal tender in El Salvador that is being discussed by two U.S. presidents, all three. As a matter of fact, as we speak, President Donald Trump announced his love for Bitcoin. We're coming there. So it's still the number one cryptocurrency with a market cap over a trillion dollars. So Ethereum, obviously, uh, with their interesting smart contract. I like some of the things they are doing, but I'm not an ish coiner, so I'm not really, I don't know anything about them that much. Tether, a stable coin, has won the space. Tether, they follow the BDC's dragon. <laughs> Oh my God, Alaji Aminu Guadabe, the president of the Association of Bereal the Change Operations of Nigeria. That's my, like my godfather over there. Alaji, I greet you. Well done, sir. I know your association is doing a lot for Nigeria, right? Helping people have direct access to um, USD, buying and selling. 
and trying to comply with the CBN regulations. Uh, regulations. But of course, you know you, you, you know how the ma market has been competitive, right? Ted has come to take your business. Are you going to get in the space or are you going to watch them sweep your people out of the market? Please, Central Bank, can you give the Be Real The Change guys to actually have the right to officially trade Tether? At least. Bitcoin makes sense. You know, you know what I mean? I mean, some of them are already doing it, but I don't know. You think that they're not doing it, then, then you send a circle out to them, you're stopping it. But I've seen it. They're actually stopping them from transacting in cryptocurrency. I don't know why Nigerian government they do this kind of thing. Why? <laughs> Tether is already proliferating the market. Are you going to call Paulo Arduino or what's his name? Yeah, the, 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 the Bitfinex CTO and the co-founder of Tether, are you going to, which is USDT, if you guys don't know what I've been talking about, USDT, are you going to call him and uh, let him face the same thing Binance as an exchange is facing because they are doing transactions in Nigeria illegally? Because our people, our BUD change, they suffer. Your people are actually not letting them uh, digitize. You know, we are the technical partners to the Association of Beauty Change of Nigeria, and we truly, truly want to help them digitize. But it's been tough. The other time, we were at the uh, SEC, and uh, the, the Director General, Dr. Timmy Agama, uh, really welcomed us. And, and, you know, it was a very interesting uh, courtesy vis visit and idea, you know, sharing. It was a very nice brainstorming session. But a few weeks after that, <laughs> we got another love letter, as usual, from Central Bank. Do not do cryptocurrency if you are a BDC. You must not trade, buy, or sell Bitcoin or USDT. Why nah? They are the ones closest to people. Imagine the liquidity they will bring into the space if they jump on exchanges. The ones that are not registered that are proliferating the market, don't you think they already are doing the business? Anyway, that's why we have BNB on number four. BNB is Binance Coin. If, if you guys have not uh, heard about them, Binance is a company that is having problems with Nigerian government. You know, two of their uh, major personnel were uh, arrested, one absconded. In my mind, it's not absconded, it must have bribed some people. <laughs> the second one is there. Uh, we hear that his health is okay. So the NSA and, of course, the SEC and the rest of them, they're really battling it out. Me, I am from my country, Nigeria. I mean, they collect money from Binance because USA, they collect money from Binance. You cannot bully Nigeria anyhow. The fact that Binance put out a statement the other day and said Nigerian lawmakers are corrupt, even though our lawmakers are corrupt. You people, are you not corrupt? Did you come into the country illegally? You did money transmitter business in Nigeria illegally, Binance. I don't want anything happening to that exchange to happen to any exchange that I know because I know it's not easy to found an exchange, as an exchange founder myself. Shout out to CZ and everything that he has done for Bitcoin and, of course, the ecosystem. You know, but the issue I have with CZ is because he unfollowed me. After following me, I don't know who went to go and tell you that I said Dinos has some validators, maybe 21 validators, and then you unfollowed me, CZ. Why? That's why my country is having problems with you. <laughs> so we wish Binance well at the end of the day. Do the right thing and, um, you know, get a Nigerian CEO proper, get a Nigerian office proper, and stop operating illegally. Don't be letting countries bite you all around. So Nigerian government, uh, while you're trying to deal with Binance, deal with us, the local exchanges, and give us a platform for expression. We want to compete at the IS level. Uh, yeah. There is more. There's Solana, there's USDC, there's XRP, there's, uh, what's this one? Toncoin, I don't know. There's Dogecoin, the dog. Ah. And there is Cardano and Tron. That's about 11 of them. But Bitcoin is still on top of the food chain. What else? Bitcoin halving. Next Bitcoin halving. When is it going to happen? In 2028. Put that up on the screen too. We've had about successfully four Bitcoin halvings now. Uh, every four years, Bitcoin halving happens. And uh, Bitcoin mining reward gets cut in half. The first time it happened was basically the Genesis block. It was, it, it happened at it happened that time. It had not happened that time. So it was like 50 Bitcoins as a reward. So if you're mining Bitcoin, you understand? You go to get 50 Bitcoins, just like that. So the earlier miners, now they hammer for this space. And then in 2012, four years thereafter, Bitcoin dropped uh, uh, into the world. It was, it dropped down to a block reward of 25 BTC. And then in 2016, not far away, uh, it became 12.5 BTC. Very, very lucrative at the time. And I think it's still lucrative now, going by what Bitcoin can be in the nearest future. 
2020, the pandemic year, was a beautiful rally. Bitcoin became even much more scarcer to find, to mine, to buy at 6.25 BTC. And then the 2024 halving that just ha happened, you know, we, we produced an halving show. Shout out to all of my team at Pop Central. It was massive and all the attends, attendees and some of you guys that enjoyed the show. Uh, it was beautiful. Uh, and, and, and from that time till now, the block reward has become even smaller at 3.125. That means that Bitcoin is actually very, very scarce to buy. Do you have BTC yet? Do you have some SATs yet? Don't look at today's price. Look at tomorrow's price. Zoom out. Don't let anybody deceive you. If you could use 100 Naira to buy one Bitcoin in 2009, and today you will need about almost 85 million there about to buy one BTC. What do you think one BTC will be in the nearest future? My Nigerian brothers and sisters, daddy and mommy, everybody all over Africa, where are you storing your hard energy? Where are you storing your hard work? You know there is inflation everywhere. Food inflation today is about 36%. It's about 34% for the general inflation in Nigeria. You are losing so much money when you put your money in the bank. You're making our big homies, them Tony Lumelu, them Shegun Agbaje. You're making them uh, uh, Jim Ovia rich. Richer. Why don't you store your money where it will not lose value? Think about it. Only jeans, thing one, rice, thing one, everything keeps going up. Think about it. When you earn your salary, it debases instantly as soon as it gets into the bank. And then about five deductibles, cost of withdrawal, cost of transfer, stamp duty, VAT, et cetera, et cetera. At the end of the month, they will say, hello, we sent you SMS. All these SMS, you are paying for it. And then we are maintaining your account. In Bitcoin, nothing like that. And then when you carry that money, any time you withdraw it, and you bring it into the real world market, there's 36%, 33% out of it. Remember, when our country government tell you, say, the time now, 6 p.m., <laughs> my brother, go look outside, oh. if it be 11 p.m., oh. <laughs> or even 2 a.m. <laughs> oh, my God. And then we're going to have a couple of Bitcoin halvings. Uh, not a couple, a whole lot. Maybe about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. About 26 small halvings. And we're going to have the last Bitcoin mined in the year 2104. Is it 2104 or 2140? I think it's 2104. Yes. When we're going to be mining something very... I don't know. No, that's not when the last bit is going to be mined. I think it's 2140, actually, when the last bit is going to be mined. My content here is not complete. In case you guys are saying it up there, I think I caught it when I was sharing it with the production team. I think it's 2140 when the last Bitcoin will be mined. And it's going to be one sat. Maybe one sat by that time will be $100. So if you just have 10 sats, you have $1,000. Most of us no go even did this world by then because that's another century, I guess. Pay attention. Be smart. Breaking news. Empty Gox has started repayment of their client's Bitcoin. Empty Gox. Have you guys ever heard about that name? Very popular cryptocurrency exchange way back. Put that up on the screen for the people to see. They lost so much money that year. You know, um, Empty Gox was hacked and they lost a lot of money. And, you know, the security in cryptocurrency wasn't really prioritized at the time. Imagine Coinbase getting hacked. Imagine Binance getting hacked. You know, so uh, it, it, was a, it was a big problem at the time. And, and, and thousands and thousands of people lost money. And, and if you realize that Bitcoin has been pumping in the last maybe like a few days or weeks, pumping down, not pumping up, is the news of empty Gox trying to pay back. And it's not really helping to push BTC up over the... What it is doing is that it's making people panic, right? So the fact say, ah, they won't pay people back alone. <laughs> you know, uh, put the fraud in the air of how unsafe the crypto space can be. But hopefully they pay their people back. That brings me back to some companies in Nigeria that folded. Patricia, uh, owned by a young man called Hanu, 
uh, unfortunately, young man used to be a big uh, image of an entrepreneur in Nigeria doing well. We'll talk about this content another time. Uh, they like empty gucks in Nigeria because they were very big, sponsoring the biggest shows, hiring the biggest influencers. Uh, and they went off the air just like that. People's money, I heard about $2 million got missing. So we don't know what the facts are right now, but I believe that uh, one day Anna will finally step back to the right um, um, path of life. Uh, we have some facts. We don't have some facts. We hope that somebody over there uh, will be able to reach out to us. Has your money gotten missing from Patricia before, like the people that lost their money at empty gox? Do you have hopes that one day Patricia is going to pay you? I hear they've paid some people. I heard they've not paid some people. What is the fact? Did this founder see your hand of scam people? Or was he, was the platform hacked? Let's leave that in the air. It's not a topic for today. And let's move up. We still have more content to share. What's next? Put up that beautiful artwork. Bitcoin will be luxury in the nearest few years. It's already luxury right now. You see that beautiful artwork of how Bitcoin is so fine, all gold. Looks like the Indian billionaire that had his wedding and paid um, Rema about $3 million. You know, that's allegedly, we don't know what it is. You see how gold full everywhere, eh? even for the attires. That's what Bitcoin will be. Isn't that what Bitcoin is already? What you could buy with less than 500 now at the time. Isn't that what it is already at $56,000? Bitcoin is going to be $100,000 in a couple of weeks. Is it not luxury already? Think about it. The luxury of the future. Before we go on a quick break, let's quickly let you guys know that the Central Bank of Bolivia unbans Bitcoin from the nation's financial ecosystem. That's a nice one. Makes sense. Makes sense. Give them a round of applause. Central Bank of Bolivia has unbanned Bitcoin from the nation's financial ecosystem. They banned Bitcoin for some years, so people in Bolivia could not do anything. Maybe P2P was trying to try, but they banned everything. And they experience inflation, they experience all types of negativity happening to their legal tender, their fiat over there. Nigerian government never really banned Bitcoin before, but they have banned the financial institutions, the fintechs, and the uh, MFBs, which is the microfinance banks, and every licensed institution under the Central Bank of Nigeria, the apex financial body in our country, from doing transactions with cryptocurrency company. Today, the story don't change. Shout out to Mr. Cardoso, the new central bank governor. It may feel it don't feel it go. <laughs> We're going to go on, on a quick break. And when we come back, it's still going to be the digital asset show. Your one-stop shop for authentic Bitcoin education. Of course, cryptocurrency education. But you know, I know say me. If they don't come show yourself and prove yourself, me, I ain't going to talk about it. And I take you on that exhilarating ride every time. I did pump your spirit. Are you down with me? Sit back, relax, and not go nowhere. I remain Olu, Olu Ashegun, Hustle Alaji, right? Let me go make some money. We'll be right back. Action. Action. I wish you guys can see behind the scene the energy in the room. It's a BTC energy. <sighs> Pumping all the time. Because, say, this world now, fiat world. Bitcoin, the apex cryptocurrency on top of the food chain, is like your banana island house in cyberspace. With the lights of New York City, Manhattan. The beauty of Paris. See Paris and die. Get rich with Bitcoin or die trying. Yes, what are you buying, my people? What are you investing in? So welcome back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Still the Digital Assets Show on Pop Central Channel 189. If no be Pop Central, it no fee be another channel. I want to thank Pop Central so much. It was tough getting us on national television. But now we are in 17 West African countries on the biggest satellite TV platform in the entire nation of Africa. If you're not giving us a round of applause, we are giving ourselves a round of applause. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The U.S. government sent $241 million worth of Bitcoin to Coinbase. What is Coinbase? A popular U.S. exchange like Binance, like Bought Me Cash, 
By the way, about me cash, you know, we're building seriously. I told you guys some time ago. And um, very soon, you'll be able to uh, start a transaction. You can just go to www.botmecash.com, sign up. Do not do transactions yet because we're still in dev mode. But you can sign up and sign in. You know, you can look around just to see how our dashboard looks like. Look at the features we have. Check the P2P exchange. Check what the Lightning can do. And, of course, you can see that you'll be able to convert Bitcoin to cash. You can just study how we integrated the time chain calendar and time chain stats. I'm very happy about what we are working on over there. Uh, but we can't wait. But, again, man, the U.S. government sent $241 million worth of BTC. They sent it to Coinbase to go and sell. Meanwhile, that same U.S. government gets problem with Coinbase. Coinbase is suing the SEC, alleging regulators are trying to cripple the crypto industry. Put that up on the screen. You see the, pic the picture of uh, Ben Armstrong. I think that's the CEO, co-founder of Coinbase. And Gary Gensler, the chairman of the SEC. You know what that means? It's like, Dr. Timmy Agama is being sued by, which is DG of the SEC. Imagine his picture with a Nigerian cryptocurrency exchange company founder. You know, go be me in Jesus' name because I'm my OG. <laughs> Maybe go be somebody else. <laughs> yeah. But isn't this like an hypocritical behavior? The US government, through the SEC, is having problems with Coinbase. And then you are moving. Bitcoin to Coinbase to go and change. Now, we say money, now in the turn friends to parties, now in the turn parties to enemies. <laughs> this world, there, eh? have money, yo. just have money. Mm. Which day one Nigerian exchange go look in the eyes of the SEC and say, let us see your emails. Let's see the exchanges between the Director General of the SEC, the chairman of the SEC, and other people to scrutinize that they are not which haunting the space. I believe so much in the crypto-savvy, well-experienced capital market lead, Dr. Timmy Agama, who is now our SEC DG. But our industry is still evolving, so it will be very difficult. You will never even give license. You never, we don't even have... Do we even have a billion dollar worth of crypto company uh, in reality? Maybe we have some that are not really, you know, out there with their market cap yet or their valuation. Maybe not only their investors. Maybe those are the ones that know. But just because they they probably don't want to put themselves out there due to the inconsistency of the crypto regulations in Nigeria. But which day we go get Liva to be sued? Then I heard one Nigerian Bitcoiner is suing the Nigerian government. Yes, so I heard. I've been opportunity to see a particular document. I haven't read it. But maybe next week, maybe we'll have an opportunity, just maybe, to table that matter. Stand for your rights. Get up. Stand up. Stand up for your rights. Get up. Stand up. Don't give up the fight. If not, I don't pay you and crypto, they pay you. You stay inside your corner. You think, say, the whip of the government will go touch you. You they deceive yourself. You see what is happening in Kenya. These guys are changing it for Ruto. And Ruto is dancing to their tone because he knows democracy is the government of the people by the people and for the people. In Jesus' name, we will not see evil. But they just give us pack, 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 pack. Shoot us small for Ozumba, by the way. We don't come back. I pray, make it not be your sister, my brother, or any of our family in Jesus' name. And RIP to those ones uh, that lost their family. Please accept my humble condolences. But then, we will be charged. We no agree charge. Everybody go chill out in their house. The loudest mouth at the time have now collected money from different, different politicians, clapping for them, hailing them. Nigeria, hail D. <laughs> me not did there. Me not no fight for my rights. The Naira keep debasing. What is one dollar to Naira today? It's about a hundred and fifty-five, one hundred and one thousand five hundred and fifty Naira. Let me check Google quickly. 1,000 something. Google says is... Uh, you check. You guys can check. You can check. I'm going to check right now too. Dollar to Naira. Dollar to Naira. Today, right now, 
at 18.46 Nigerian time, most likely West African time, on the 13th day of July, Saturday. US dollar to Naira on Google is 1,600. What will that price be out there? Even though they have unified it, you will not see it and buy for 1,650. You won't see it and buy for 1,700. You will most likely buy US dollar for 1,800. <laughs> By December, we go buy them for 2,000 or 2,500. Kamari, no, we no see them. But does anything come down in Nigeria? Ask yourself that question. Didier, don't stand up for your rights. It's still the Digital Assets Show, and I am Olu on Pop Central. The Truth Sayer is here. One stop shop for anything authentic that has to do with the blockchain cryptocurrency space. I am a full blown Bitcoiner. It maxes it with empathy. I don't yip the yak, I say the truth as it be. We debunk the myths and we establish the facts. This is not financial advice. Do your research, don't trust, verify. But then we can stand in front of them and prove to them that this one, nah, Mago Mago, this one. Not real. Your worst enemy, yo, could be your best friend. <laughs> Try yourself, oh. Open your eyes. Food, you know, day. Brother, water, no day. And our road, you know, good, oh. What about the Nepal people, oh? We know get light. Every day, poor man, they hala. Every day, rich man, they hammer. Poor man, we still Maggie. Them go show him face for television, for crime fighter. Rich man, we chief billions. They no go show him face for television or crime fighter. Tell me something now, no, no. Policeman go see whites. He go tell you, say, that thing I read. <laughs> Open your eyes. Stand up for your rights. We need that money that cannot be debased. Money that cannot be controlled. That's the money that IMF will borrow you and tell you how to spend it. IMF will now tell you, increase the prices of things so that you can pay us back quickly. At least you have money to step up in infrastructure and all of that. Eh? Remove subsidy. Dollarize our nation, anyhow. You collect this loan. Unfortunately, some countries have collected the loan and have utilized it well. But us... When our people collect loan like this, they go buy fine cars, send their children abroad. Schools go, they go on strike for here. They collect the loan and buy fine houses. Collect escort, where they go take beat us, we vote for them, stand inside sun that time, but then they beg us. Think about it. They don't even have Naira. They keep dollar, our politicians. And you, you want to keep Naira. <laughs> keep Bitcoin, you'll be 10 steps ahead of them. Let's get back to our content. Woo! The truth is bitter, my people. Eh? I know. The truth is bitter. Fun fact. 13 years ago today, Bitcoin price was $0.78. Chai. That's 78 cents. Less than $1 13 years ago. 2011. Bitcoin was less than $1. What was Naira 13 years ago? To dollar to Naira. It was not up to 200 naira. So you for fee use 1,000 naira to buy at least five bitcoins. Today, you will have $58,000 times five. It will be a big boy in Nigeria. And because you have it in BTC, haven't huddled for a long time. H O D L, huddle, is the same thing as hold. Diamond hands. Don't be the one who will say bitcoin will just do like this in fiat terms. When I say fiat, I mean the legal tender. Dollar naira pounds. We just be like this small. Ah, Bitcoin don't go down. You can go sell and boa. But if you have huddled and you bought one Bitcoin for one fifty naira or two hundred naira max at seventy eight cents in twenty eleven. Fun fact: Today you would have had or you will be having fifty eight thousand dollars for waiting you buy for two hundred thousand naira. Nobody say you trade them, but you just buy and hold down like that. They look out for peace. It be like your house where you buy or your land where you buy. Should you go go sell on the day where you want to a coma, when you want to have a naming ceremony? Will you go and sell that beautiful house that you have built? You won't now. So why do you sell your Bitcoin anyhow? Stay there. Mm. Let's move on. This one is a beautiful one. You know, 
the people of the world are very, very funny. I love my Bitcoiners. I love crypto heads. Ah, ah. They went to go and beam the logo of Bitcoin on the, on, on the walls of the Central Bank of Europe. Eh? Giant Bitcoin logo. Beamed and projected on the walls of the Central Bank of Europe. And I get about to go put Bitcoin for the, <laughs> for the wall of Central Bank of Nigeria. <laughs> DSS, go come find you. <laughs> When you both, when you both get mind, ah, ah. giant Bitcoin logo on the walls of the European Central Bank, like that, beam big, and they took the pictures. That's what you can see on your screen. If you can do it, and you can prove to me and send me the picture, and it's authentic, and you do a selfie that you just did it, I challenge you, do it. I will make sure. I organize a race for you from Bitcoiners all over the world. I foresee Nigeria, but Nigerian Bitcoiners. Get us and be shout, shout out to the ones that are legitimate. But me personally, if you can do it, if you can do it, if you can do it, me personally, I'll give you a gift of. Uh, we cannot talk the one way too big. If I go say hundred dollar, hundred dollar, one hundred fifty thousand naira. Is that not too much? I don't go know the level of the person we do. And what if he's a rich person? Any money I give the person, they will get value. <sighs> If you can do it, I will give you a round of applause and I'll bring you on the show from anywhere you eh? I, will, <laughs> I don't want to give you money. There's inflation in Nigeria. <laughs> I don't even have Naira anyway. But if you can do it and you can show us, we're going to put it on national television. I promise you that we will show it practically almost every episode. I promise you that till this, till this season ends. Beam the picture, the logo of Bitcoin, the orange logo of Bitcoin. Beam it on the Central Bank of Nigeria for just 60 seconds. I don't think it's against the law anyway. Just be like your laser light. We could just, you know those infrared lights. We could just like this. If you do, God help you say, you go scot free for Nigeria. But it's a free world. So I don't think that's supposed to be a problem. Because cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, is now in our finance Act signed into law by President Bola Tinubu in September, of course, on the first of September. There's a ten percent capital gain, but you are hearing rumor: capital gain tax, right? CGT on char chargeable assets, whether it's digital assets or whatever it is. With Bitcoin, it's a part of it. Cryptocurrency, everything, Ethereum, Solana, everything. Then, if you dispose of it, at the end of the month, you pay ten percent to government. That was it. Did there in the Finance Act? They have not removed it. Even the tax reforms. Uh, presidential Tax Reforms Committee, led by Mr. Taiwo, has not been able to take that out. I think that 10% is too much. I think that people are not really making noise about it because government never started to clamp down on a lot of people. When it touched the body of the big boys, everybody could talk. The government was the collect past 2%, max. So if I make $100,000, you will take 10%. Federal Government of Nigeria, you will take 10 10 $10,000? If I make a million dollars, you will take a hundred thousand dollars. Abba, and this money go enter in our eye and I go increase them in a couple of years. I beg, I beg, it's too much. It's too much. Find a way to, you know, bring this down. As the show winds down, real quick, I know you may not understand, and then you'll be arguing, "What's this guy saying?" Put it up. I don't understand this guy, but you are not. You are, you are not right about it. You are wrong about it. You are like this guy on the screen when you don't know something. Instead of you to learn, you'll be hating on the people that know. You'll be carrying rumor up and down. Now you be that. Now you, you, that's you. Eh? Sit down, carry by round paper. Open laptop. Carry your phone. Research and listen to us. As long as you're not stealing money, you're going through inflation in Nigeria. Let's tell ourselves the truth. Everybody, they face up. Wake up. That's why Pop Central is bringing this show to light. This is not a hidden conversation. I keep saying it. It is an executive council conversation at the presidency. This is not waiting for somebody to talk every Tuesday when they when they gather with President Bola Tunembu. Our youth want Bitcoin. So, Your Excellency, sir, let us reduce the uh, price of registration and licensing for them. Eh? Because ARIP now, accelerated regulatory incubation program will cost two million naira. 
who could get two million naira? Just go give SEC. Majority of the boys go take and do P2P business in the black market. Wake up. Mm. Because time no day. President Trump has announced that if he wins the presidential election in November, that he is going to make America mine almost all the bitcoins of the world. He's going to make Bitcoin mining a major business of the United States of America. President Trump said that. Between President Biden and President Trump, who is going to win? You know President Biden now, the one that is currently there. Eh? Obama's former vice president. He's now the president of America. And President Trump, the former U.S. president. President Trump, today, has announced that when he becomes the president of the United States of America, he will make Bitcoin mining a major thing. He will make sure that you will be able to run a non-custodial wallet. He will make sure that you will be able to move your Bitcoin all over the world freely by yourself and nobody will take your Bitcoin from you. Anything in America do, the world will follow. Make Nigeria, they sleep on the bicycle, we don't get tired. The show is about to round up. And as we round up the show, I'm for telling about what the German government do. Eh? Because uh, you get everything the German government do, they may get some Bitcoin, they don't sell them. But we'll bring that next week because I don't have the full content here. I will bring it up next week. Go to the last picture of the slide. Somebody bought huge amount of BTC while you are there complaining. Somebody bought 4,850. No. What am I saying? Somebody bought 3,267 Bitcoins at the dollar price of $184,678 while you and I are here teaching ourselves and you are not making decision. Somebody bought $184 million worth of Bitcoin and they paid just $2, just $2 as transaction fees. That's 4,815 sats. No be joke, ooh. Somebody bought $184 million worth of Bitcoin and paid $2. Can you do $184 million worth of transaction and pay $2 as transaction fee? Bakam, they will cut your neck. On that note, we're going to round up the show. It's been a wonderful, straight one hour on Digital Assets Show. I thank my producer. I thank every member of the camera uh, and production crew, the editor, the guys on the NCR, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Pop Central. Thank you, DSTV. Thank you, my viewers. Because of you, eh, I'm always here. Without you guys, there is no me. Without you guys, there is me. Because my God, I depend on. If you depend on human being, you person for nothing, fifty person. <laughs> I remember Lua Shegum, co-founder of Social Journal and the CEO of Bought Me Cash. Digital Asset Show will be back same time, same station next week. Don't miss the repeats 8 p.m. on Monday, uh, 5 p.m. on Wednesday, on Wednesday or Wednesday, and 6 p.m. on Thursday. I hope I got that right. But we'll be right back next week. Eh? Juicy, juicy, juicy content about cryptocurrency, blockchain, and Bitcoin. Thank you, guys. Odabo. Odabo means goodbye.